Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to have a brief introduction about the files in the Node.js. How the files will be handled in the Node.js, we need to understand it. So now let's try to see that Node.js, we need to understand how the file handling will be done in the Node.js. So normally we, before this video, we have learned about the buffer concept. So that is why we have learned about the buffer concept. The, what is this buffer? Buffer is nothing but storing the binary data. So if you try to see any video file or audio file or any image or anything, so this consists of a binary data only. So that means whatever the file you are trying to copy or if you are trying to read it, so you will be able to read the binary data. So that means the binary data means you will be getting the data in return as a buffer. So that is one concept you need to understand. So if you try to open the Chrome and if you try to see the file concept in the Node.js, let's try to open and we'll try to see it. I will try to open here and here I'll be opening the Node.js. Okay. If you go to the documentation for this one, so let's go to the documentation and here in the docs, so we will be able to see the file system. Okay. So this is our file system. And if you try to see here, let's go into between this down. So here it is saying that it will be interacting with the file system in a way in the POSIX functions. We'll try to see about this POSIX function. So now let's see that I will try to uh, show you a simple file. How, what will be the output of this one? So here, what I will be trying to do is I will be creating a new folder, new directory. And here I will be keeping it as a files. So we'll try to uh, write some code regarding this files concept. And in these files, I will create a new file that is nothing but app.js. Okay, and let's say that we will be having a small file that is nothing but uh, text.txt. So here I will be writing it as an hello world. So this is our simple thing which I will be writing. In the text.txt file, we will be having a hello world. And in the app.js, let's import the fs and it should be uh, require of, require of, sorry, require of fs module so we need to import the fs module so this is our code so now so what i would be trying to do it is so now here let's try to read the file text.txt file so now i will be doing con constant contents file content i need to read the file so there is nothing but fs dot read file sync so i will be using the sync here so we'll try to ex i will try to explain you after this some um, couple of minutes so let's try to read the file and here it will be taking two parameters first one is the path here the path i will be having is the text.txt file so keep it like this only and the encoding type which you will be having so here you will be able to see the vast variety of encoding types so right now we know that the code is in the utf8 so if you try to open the text.txt and if you observe at the bottom you'll be able to see that it is in the utf8 utf8 format so that's why i have written it as an utf8 fine so we got the contents let's try to console.log of contents and we'll try to see so what will be the data in, in this one now if i try if i go into our command prompt okay and here if i try to uh, see node app.js file what is happening here module not found app.js file so what i have did it here read file sync fine and i am here okay so i need to go to the files and here i need to write node app.js file so now see here you'll be able to see a hello world so why we are able to see a hello world let's try to see it okay so we have mentioned this one as utf8 right if i try to hover here you will be able to see so the encoding so it is already and if encoding is specified means then this function returns a string otherwise it returns a buffer so I should I will be not using the encoding so that's why it is encoding and it is giving you the data so we will just write the text.txt file and let's try to see the contents and here if I try to run this node app.js we will be able to see the buffer and this buffer you know that each one is a one byte one byte means eight bits so 48 65 60 60 this is all that is nothing but hello world and the second and the sorry third and fourth is double L right so here you will be able to see in the output also the third and fourth are one and the same so that means it is an ll 
the hexadecimal representation of the binary data. So it is something like 0, 0, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 0, 0, some, something like that it will be having. But instead of mentioning it is a binary data, it is representing in a hexadecimal format. So if you want to see means you can open the calculator or something like that and you can check the hexadecimal representation of this UTF-8 of the uh, alphabet you can able to see and you will be able to see this 6C. So now we are able to see the buffer. So that's why we have learned about the buffer concept. So we'll learn more about this buffer concept and all those things while going on into these files just uh, in order to understand. So fine, now we understood that whatever the file we are trying to read it, it will be read it as a buffer. So here you will be able to see. So this one returns a buffer. The contents returns a buffer. That is the main thing. Contents returns a buffer. And that buffer, so we can play with the buffer whatever you want it. Now when you are trying to read the file or something like that, Node.js supports three types. Okay. Let's open the Notepad++. So Node.js supports three types of uh, accessing the files so the first one is <coughs> promise based okay so you will be writing the promised based accessing of the file and the next one is callback based and the last one is the synchronous based so here which one we need to take so which which methodology we need to implement in order to access the files in the node.js so if you want to ask me means that then I would I would rather suggest you maximum whenever you are trying to access the files or something like that in the node.js so I will be suggesting you to use the promise based only so promise based will be somewhat easier to implement and all those things and if you want to have a performance so the, in the node.js documentation itself they have written that if you want to have a performance thing and all the things is then we need to implement a callback so callback has a little bit edge over the promise based thing so it has some performance thing and the node.js documentation itself has written about this callback has in uh, performance uh, is more rather than compared to the promised base and the synchronous means so here uh, what i can say it is so this way this is as much as possible you should avoid using this synchronous so there will be a situations in a such a way that we will be using the synchronous type of api also but i would be suggesting you to avoid as much as possible with this synchronous api so most of the things I would suggest you to use the promised base. So just I will try to show you how we can implement these three things. So just I will try to show you an example. Constant fs is equal to require of. So here I will be writing node fs slash promises. So here I can write it something like this. So that means I will be using the promised based only. So here I can write something like async. Okay and here this one is a function and this one is a self function okay and here i will be writing constant contents is equal to await fs dot copy file so here i would be trying to do the copy file okay so copy file uh, what i can see so text dot txt so you will be having the text dot txt so it should copy into the destination file that is nothing but copy hyphen promise dot txt file so this is the thing which you need to do it and here i can write try and if any errors comes or something like that means then you can use the catch of e and you can do the console.log of e okay and if i try to show you the output for this one so let's go here and i will try to do node app.js file so done so here you will be able to see copy hyphen promise.txt has been copied and here in this one also you will be able to see an output also so for example let's say that i would be trying to do uh, access a file which doesn't exist so then you will be able to catch the error so you will be able to see the error code as e n o e n t and it is telling that no such file or directory is present so this is one way of accessing the promised base okay so I would be trying to do the promised base. So now what I would be trying to do it is. So now here this is I would be keeping it as a comment. So callback based thing. So constant fs is equal to require of fs. And here constant contents is equal to fs dot copy file. So I can use it directly like this. And here I can write text dot txt. And here copy hyphen callback dot txt and you will be having an error 
so if any error occurs so you need to write it as in third argument and console dot log of e that's it sorry error that's it finish so this is one way how you will be writing the code so now here if you try to implement this one callback error what happened to this one fs dot copy file so let's try to see the output for this so if i try to run this one so here automatically you will be able to see the copy hyphen callback has been created so you will be able to see the this one also the last one which i would be trying to tell you is the copy file sync so here constant contents is equal to fs dot copy file sync and you can write something like this one copy hyphen callback and this mode will not have and this one you can say it as an copy hyphen sync that's it so this is also one way which you can use it so now here if i try to run it identifier already has been declared okay so here contents sync i will try to use it so that we can able to run it again so here you'll be able to see the copy hyphen sync also has been created so these are the different ways so one is we have implemented using the promises and which we are the second one is using the await sorry, sorry callback and the last one is the synchronous so these are the three different ways how we can achieve the same thing in the node.js in if you try to observe the documentation also if you open this documentation also the accessing of these files so you'll be able to see the first one is the promise api okay so here all this is all the promise api and if you come down so these are all the methods and the callback api the same thing you can write these are all the methods are existing in the callback api and the last one which you'll be able to see is the synchronous api so this synchronous api also you'll be able to have it so these are all these are the three ways how you can access the file or how you can access the file in the node.js using the synchronous using the callback and also using the promises so that is what that is what i want to explain you so i have shown you a simple example so in the next video we will try to see do a simple uh, application or a simple uh, demo how we can access the files and all those things we'll try to see it so hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you